Okay. Thank you very much. Professor Pihanki provide us with an academician's point of view. Liwanagi natin, Academic discussion to on what transpired sa 2015. Meron ba kayong nakitang remarkable incidents that shaped 2015? Well, when the, this administration, particularly our, our tourism department, has, uh, has decided to make it's more fun in the Philippines, our uh, tourism uh, slogan, I think they were really serious because it's always fun here in the Philippines, per, especially in our political arena. No? There's never a dull moment. No? And uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, the fun no, uh, is uh, more harmful than good no? because... Uh, uh, I would like to agree with uh, former Senator Tata that we started the year auspiciously with the uh, visit of the Pope. And uh, there were a lot of commentators who would like to think that the, the visit of the Pope would envelope the country with a halo effect that will eventually uh, uh, lead to, uh, will have some effect on the election. But unfortunately, uh, again, several missteps happened during the year. No? And, uh, of course, we have the Mama Sapano mm -hmm. incident. And it suddenly, all this uh, positive, very, uh, very uh, blessed no? uh, vibe that we enjoyed during the first half suddenly turned into a very sour uh, no, no, uh, tragedy for everyone concerned. So, and then... Uh, this led to one tragedy to another, uh, comedy of errors, inefficiency. Uh, only now that in our entire life have we experienced such huge traffic in the metropolis. No? And unfortunately, sad to say, uh, it's not only traffic on the ground, no? pati sa aeroplano ngayon, no? may, may traffic na rin. No? Yung magla-landing ka na sana, paikutin ka ng 30 minutes hanggang maubos yung gasolina. No? So, traffic na sa kalsada, traffic pa sa <laughs> ere. Baka hmm. mamaya, pati sa dagat, may Hindi, meron na rin, na. dahil nagkaroon ng problema sa barko. Oo, dito. O, sa no? containerized vans, oh. right? Yes. Remember? So, maraming, maraming ano. So, <laughs> now, all of this, no, are, we're, we're, we're seeing this will have an impact on next year's political exercise, the election. No? And uh, somebody asked me if, uh, we're, if I expect something new. Unfortunately, my take as a political scientist is that we will have more of the same. Sad to say. No? Uh, we, because uh, we tend to look at political personalities and uh, uh, we tend to look for heroes but we always end up with flawed heroes no? and sometimes we, we end up with anti-heroes no? and that's the problem uh, just when we thought that we are on our way up as a country as a nation then something happens then we go down again so I think if we really want to change things, there are three important aspects that we have to address in the coming years. No? One would be institutional, the rules, both informal and formal, that are repeated through time, and that, that is embedded in everyone. We don't need an authoritarian leader to tell us to, to pick up the trash, to line up, to pay our taxes, to follow traffic rules. No? So in short, we don't need Duterte here. And I'm just saying we don't need a dictator to do that. Ah, okay. Diba? Okay, okay. Okay. So second, we need to change systems, processes, no? the way we do things. Diba? Sometimes it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to solve the traffic in Metro Manila. Diba? Third, we need to change structures. And that is fundamentally the root cause of our problem as a nation from the very beginning. Structures mean the relationship we have no? in terms of power, in terms of economy, in terms of societal structure. If we don't ultimately change the way we relate with one another, meaning to say the rich becomes richer and the poor becomes poorer, no? 
the widening gap between uh, those benefiting from the economic growth, allegedly, that this country is enjoying, and those who are not enjoying. Unfortunately, to be fair, our economy grew. Yes, but who benefited? Diba? Uh, to be fair also to the Aquino government, it has pushed for major social economic policies and laws. But unfortunately, these are investment going towards the future. CCP, K-12, uh, no? But the impact to the poor in the here and now is not felt. That's why whenever we travel to the metropolis and even outside, we see a large influx of homeless family. So, yung, I think the problem now is that in the first half of the Aquino administration, there were a lot of promise. Now that we are going to the tail end of this administration, what we are seeing is uh, some of the failures. And among the failures to address social reform, political reform, pers uh, uh, pursue uh, uh, inclusive growth, and the most basic of all, uh, efficient delivery of public service and building of infrastructure. And these are problems that will create, uh, that will have an impact on the level.